Colonel Sanders. So in the list of 10 uh, meritorious deeds, um, there was one, there was one, uh, I'm reading this book, uh, What Buddhism Believes, which is by one of the um, venerables wrote that book. From okay. This. Oh, is that uh, the venerable from Sri Lanka, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in here, um, there's, there's two deeds that I need to, I want to get clarification on. One is bhavana, uh, mental culture, and the other one is, um, is uh, straightening one's view, which is, you know, uh, DTGU, DTGU right. and bhavana. So can you explain to me what, you know, what mental culture, what do they mean by, what does he mean by mental culture? So, so that is actually part of mental culture. So, so um, uh, one of so so there's in this list of good deeds, you could say, um, the the most important, the most uh, ultimate good deed to do is to teach yourself, which actually says a lot about about Buddhism. The ultimate good deed that is most important to do is to teach yourself. That is what straightening your views is to be able to 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 look at yourself critically and be able to teach yourself and also encourage yourself not only critically but also encourage yourself so that is uh, that is uh, straightening your views straightening your views is basically teaching yourself so you come here you sit here and you you study about the teaching of the buddha that is a way to straighten your views you observe your life you draw certain conclusions well, I should make better decisions like this, or I made a good decision like this. I already made a very good decision like this, and that was a good thing to do. Uh, so when you reflect on your life like that, then you are teaching yourself. So every time, uh, so normally Kunyai, uh, the founder of our temple, uh, who is actually, um, uh, it's actually her birthday coming up, and um, she, she actually said that um, every time before we go to sleep, uh, we should reflect on our lives and, and think, what things have I done well? And what things need improvement? Are there any, uh, in terms of our role and in terms of our responsibilities in life, is there anything that we have done right that we should be aware of? And anything that we have done wrong that we should improve on? And she would, do it like this every evening before she went to bed. And if you, if you uh, study a little bit about uh, many, you know, you, if you read, read up a bit, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who have this habit that, I'm, uh, that I've heard of. It's not only Kunyai, there were, there were other people as well in the West that had this habit of reflecting on their lives in a moral and spiritual sense every time. Ben Franklin, so, I think Ben Franklin did that. Yes, yes. Ben Franklin, I, yeah. I, th I think uh, Ben Franklin, you said? Ben Franklin. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I, th I think he also did that, uh, though it was, I think it was mostly in the, the first part of his life. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, actually, uh, that's actually a very good, uh, good uh, thing, you know, to, to reflect on uh, your life every day. And uh, so mental culture is that, but it also, mental culture is also uh, about uh, doing meditation, about uh, just coming and studying or, or reading about uh, good teachings, uh, for example, Buddhist teachings. And... Um, um, there's uh, also, um, well, there, there's, um, for example, chanting can also be a way to mentally cultivate your mind because it's a, uh, it helps you to meditate better and it also uh, helps you to get closer to the, the meaning of the teaching of the Buddha or become more open to the teaching of the Buddha. So that is also a form of mental cultivation. So pavana it means uh, any uh, or any good deed that is aimed at wisdom, uh, understanding, uh, better uh, teaching yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, I have a question.